Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I have an empties to film and it's a lot and it's a lot of makeup because I just finished around a project pan where I finished everything in the span of like a three week period. So get comfortable. I am going to start moving things like candles and stuff. I'm going to try to save them for a household empties which means I will probably only be doing those like three times a year. But I'm hoping that it will shorten these at least a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to do the makeup first so let's get started. I have, this was a Project Pan empty. It was a Chella brow pencil in tantalizing tote. It's completely done. That is a swatch of it though. And it was really nice. I don't know if this is $18 nice. I got this from an Ipsy bag, but it definitely did the trick and it matched my eyebrows really well. I have a beauty blender that decided to start fraying at the ends and dying. So I decided to cull that. I don't think I'm ever gonna pay for one of these because I find at least that they die just as quickly as the Real Techniques ones. So if I can get them for free off of like Birchbox with points, that's great because I do think these work a tiny bit better, but not better enough to warrant the price. I have a full size of the Benefit Professional. I do really love this, however the scent of this gives me a freaking headache. I do love the finish though. I don't know if I will purchase a full size again, but I will happily use like little minis that come in kits and stuff like that. Had a Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream miniature in the shade Light. And even though this is in the shade Light, it was a tad on the orange side for me. So it worked fine. It was a nice kind of lighter side of a foundation, but I don't think I would buy this because I don't think the foundation matches me. Oh, this was a relief to finish. This is from my finish X by finish 12, the 12 empties of Christmas thing. It is the Via Bombshell, the one stick in Girl Crush. It does not roll up anymore. I could dig in there, but I don't want to. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know this was in my project pan last year and I never finished it. And it's because this honker is huge. I mean, it probably goes all the way up to the top of the cap, but I like the formula fine. I did not really enjoy this color because it was a very light pink with a bunch of glitter inside of it. And it was worth like $16. I think Be A Bombshell charges extortionate amounts for their products, but what do I know? Something I would happily purchase again. This is a Tarte Cheek Stain in Flush. This is a mini that I think is worth about like $10 when you do the math. All of that is plastic. I actually dug in a little bit. I used my beauty blender to kind of dip in and apply it like that and I loved it. I do love these. They smell so good, although don't put them on your lips. They taste like lemon pledge. But I love this. I would love to have another one. I don't know if I would ever buy... I'm a little hesitant to buy a full size because they're kind of on the big side. And I know the old ones were huge in comparison, but I do really love this formula and I might purchase one one day anyway. Something that was in my project pan that tart cheek stain was as well, but I didn't finish it in time, but I finished it yesterday actually, is this Makeup Forever lip liner in, I don't even remember anymore. I think it was in 12L. Just this deep kind of 90s lip look, Kylie Jenner, if you want to go there. I don't, but it, even though there was a little bit of product left, it was starting to scratch my lips when I applied it, so I stopped. And I can't sharpen it anymore because a lot of people have been having trouble with these and their eyeliners doing the same thing. The plastic comes detached and it starts twisting on its own so you can't stick it and sharpen it in a thing anymore, which is annoying. I finished like three lip liners this month apparently. I have a Jordana Easy Liner for lips in Sedona Red. This is in my finish five by fall. It clicks. Let's see, can you swatch? I love this. I already have a backup of this, so love it. See, I have an Urban Decay lip pencil in ozone and it broke. This is the last sharpen anyway. I probably lost like two uses. It is a clear lip pencil and if you have a lot of trouble with feathering of like your lip glosses, you can kind of apply it on the outside of your lips. This is $16 though, and you can get one from Milani for about half the price. I don't know if it comes with quite as much product, but I went through this, I say I went through this fast. I went through this in about three to four months of constant use, which 
may be good or not, but I literally used this up from a full size in like three and a half months. So, something that I went through even faster. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer that I used for brightening under my eyes. Love it, but $7.99 and in my area because we have a slightly lower price of living, so things are a little bit cheaper around here. But I went through this in a little over two months, like not even, I wouldn't even say two and a half months. Not a lot of product comes in this, but I think I actually got this for free with couponing. And I'll, if I can get another deal like that, I will totally get another one of these. I actually really miss this. So I might just suck it up and get it again anyway. Although I'm sure I can at least get some kind of deal on it. Finished this yesterday too. This is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. I did not like the smell of this, but even the directions on this say, hold your breath while you spray it. I think that's why. I love the idea of a makeup setting spray having an SPF in it. This is SPF 30. However, Kula is expensive as crap. This is $36 for a full size and you only get 1.7 ounces, which compared to like, say the L'Oreal one that is, you know, 15, $16, you get like three ounces. So I think that's bull crap. I don't care if their stuff is organic. That's way too expensive. I think I want to, I want to see, I believe Supergoop has one that if it is cheaper, I might look into it. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss and Dolly that I've been trying to finish forever. And I finally finished it for my project pan. Can I get a swatch? I can probably squeeze a swatch out of it. There it is right there. It is really pretty. I would probably never buy a full size of one of these again because it took me like seven months of on and off usage, but there was a good like six months of straight, of more constant usage. Oh, it drove me crazy trying to finish this. I don't know how some of you people out there go through lip glosses like crazy. I cannot. I do really like Buxom lip glosses though and I have a six pack from last Christmas, so I probably would not purchase it this Christmas, but I would recommend purchasing the little packs that come out every Christmas rather than one or two of the full size because they will drive you insane. Trying to finish them, that is. Speaking of Buxom, I have the Buxom Illuminator and Divine Goddess. The packaging has died. This thing still tingles, which was really weird to feel on the face. When I dumped it into lotion and spread it out, thinly enough, it did not do that. But I couldn't bear to have this on my face, so I would never purchase that. I do have some samples of stuff. I have the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Sampler. This one is apparently in streak, and I have used it all up. I really liked the bronzer and the highlighter, but the blush was too dark. I had to be really careful with it. And it looks like if you see all the other ones, the blushes would probably be too dark and all of them, but maybe the middle one, they are super pigmented. So I don't think I would purchase this at least not anytime soon, but it was a really nice product. I have three foundation samples and there's probably at least one other one lurking in there somewhere. Let's see, I have the NARS crap. Let's see. I don't know what this is because I ripped the freaking packet. I don't know. What is that? I didn't like it. It was too dark. It's in Santa Fe Medium 2. It, I, I couldn't even wear it out. I have two of the Buxom Show Some Skin. I have one in Fair Game and one in Tickle the Ivory. Fair Game is my shade. Like this actually looks ghost. The Tickle the Ivory actually looks ghostly on me. I think I have another Tickle the Ivory possibly lurking in there unless it was last month. I don't remember. I really like this foundation. I think it's really light, but it still gives a nice amount of coverage. So, I don't know, once I go through like eight foundations, because I have t way too many right now, I might consider purchasing this. Like, I really liked it. I think that is it for makeup. That only took 10 minutes, shit. All right, so I'm just gonna go off the top. I'm not gonna try to categorize them. This is the Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter that you get from Dollar Shave Club, which I will try. Somebody asked me one time if they do like any type of rebate, like you click on a link and then I get something for you signing up through me. I don't know. I think that's a rebate link. I don't know. But they actually do. I get like $5 off if you sign up through me. So I will hunt down that link and I will start putting it down in my 
links down below because I have like my Epsi, my birch box and everything. Anyways, this is really nice. I don't like shave creams because they dry out my already dry legs. This keeps them moisturized and I get less nicks. And it's like six bucks, unlike the Wish shave cream, which I have a mini of in here that is like 18, that performs the same thing. This smells like a dude though. I don't care because I'm just shaving with it and then I, you know, shower afterwards so I, the smell doesn't linger. But if that bothers you, this really smells like a dude. That's full size too. I think you can only get it through them though. Have the acne treatment pads from the Dollar Tree. These suck, don't bother. And I like most of their acne treatment line. That that was just crap. Let's see, I have a Davines or Davines Menu Shampoo. This is the rain scented stuff that I got from them. And even though I love the size of this, there's a little bit left in the bottom, but not enough to use. I love that they sent me like a nice big fat size and the shampoo itself was great. I just cannot tolerate the scent at all. I hated it, so I would never purchase. Let's see, here's something else from the Dollar Tree. These are revitalizing eye pads. These are the same thing as those like Chlorine or Skin Iceland pads, except they are really, really flimsy. And that's the one thing that I really don't like about them. Like you could easily tear them. They literally feel like soaked paper, but they work pretty similarly. You get two to a pack for a dollar, which I think is still better than the prices per ounce of the other one or per packet, I guess. Still. I mean, if I ran across these again, I would probably pick them up, but I don't know. It depends on how easily you want them. You, it depends on how strong you want the pads themselves to be. But I think they all perform pretty similarly. I have a head and shoulders for men, two in one active sport. Um, I don't use these as a shampoo and conditioner, but they are kind of a moisturizing shampoo, which is nice. So I think I have another one of those in here. Yeah. This one is hair endurance for men and it worked completely the same. See, I have a K Bella Bath and Beauty Deep Cleansing Aloe Vera Cream Mask. This was really nice. You put it on your face, let it dry for 15 minutes and then wash it off. I got this from Target and I think they sell big sizes of these two. I wanna try a couple more of the other ones before I pick. I did get two uses out of this though, so that was pretty cool. I think they're like $1.50 or something. I have a thing of Ulta cotton rounds. These are amazing. And they're like $2.99 a piece and I have to order them for Ulta. Which if I had an Ulta like next door to me, I would go there and buy them all the time, but I don't. So from now on, whenever I go into an Ulta, I'm gonna grab a couple of these, but I'm not gonna go to Ulta strictly for these because the Target ones work pretty well too. But these are amazing. They're textured on one side, they're nice and big. They hold together even when you're like take, using them for nail polish. So I highly recommend these actually. I think they're worth the money. I just don't like having to make an order for just for them. Shaving cream, this is the Wish. This is in the blueberry scent. And I found out a lot of people complained that this smelled rancid. You put it in the shower with water and it does. It's really weird. I mean, the formula works fine, but oh, I couldn't do that scent again. It smells amazing normally, but Something about water hitting it makes it smell like ass. I have a Lancome Absolute Precious Oil Sampler, and it's a giant sample. It lasted me most of a month. Uh, this smelled strange to me. Like, not bad, I just did not like the scent. But otherwise, it performed like a face oil would. So, if you don't mind Lancome scents, go for it. I have a shit quattro disposable razor that I use for when I travel and I went to my mom's this month so I kind of murdered it. They're fine for a couple of uses but I would not recommend them for like regular use. I don't like them enough for that. I think I had some kind of deal on them which is why I bought them. Oh no wait, I know why I bought that. I left my regular razor at home and I had to go buy some. This is a preview for the next 5 by Fall update. This is Cat by TIGI Session Sherry Styling Cream. I did finally finish it up. When I have shorter hair, this gives me a nice PC texture, but I was using it up because I've had it for like a year and I don't want it cluttering my stuff anymore. So it works when you have shorter hair. When you have long hair like mine, it doesn't work as good, but it's fine. I need to set that aside. I have an It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product sample that I think does the exact same thing as all the other leave-in conditioners do. 
And I have something else that protects for heat and everything like that, so I would never buy this, and I think it smells weird. I know that's blasphemy for you too, but it's true. They I have a clear scalp and therapy complete care nourishing anti dandruff shampoo that stripped my hair color. I hated it. And it didn't even work that well for a dry scalp or a dandruff or anything like that either. So it sucks. Don't bother. I have a OGX Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. This was actually really nice. And the next time they go on sale, buy one, get one for free at Walgreens. I might pick this up. Although I need no more shampoos. Let me grab these together. Shut up, phone. No one likes you. I have the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo, Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Shampoo Conditioner. And this is for Flat Iron Express. And I did blow dry my hair for these because if you guys don't know, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, I very rarely blow dry my hair. I dye it so much that I try to avoid doing other things to it. But these were really nice. I do think they dried out my hair a little bit though. They but Garnier Fructis, they smell amazing. This, however, I did not like this at all. I think it dried the absolute... This might have been what dried out my hair when I used that. I'm not entirely sure, but this dried the piss out of my hair. So, I did not like this at all. But because I don't straighten or dry my hair with a blow dryer normally, I would not buy that anyway. But I had it, so I used it, and I decided to actually blow dry my hair for it. And I did get really straight hair, but it also kind of lion main froed out on me, which my hair kind of does that anyway when I blow dry it. Let's see, the Jurgens BB Body Protecting Skin Cream. This is in the light version. I don't think this actually gave much in the way of color. It had more shimmer than color to it. Otherwise, it was fine. I'm not sure if it's worth the like $12.99 price tag. I do have another mini of this floating around somewhere that I should probably use. Estee Lauder New Dimension Shape and Fill Expert Serum. This was nice. I think I got this out of a magazine. One use, you know you can't tell too much out of them, but it felt nice on my skin. Let's see, I need to do these two together. Have a Corez Wild C Wild Rose Vitamin C Petal Peel. I have the step one and the step two. This is the activator and this is the brightening and resurfacing mask. I hate the smell of rose. I don't know why I keep getting sent rose products, but I do. So, I don't know. It tingled, it tingled a lot actually. The, the activator peel tingled like a mofo. It has 10% AHAs, natural fruit enzymes, soothing aloe, the soothing aloe my ass. I did not really like this because I don't like the rose scent on top of it and it didn't burn my face. Like it didn't m mess it up or anything, but I didn't like how it felt. So I would not purchase. I do have another freaking makeup thing. I suck! And this I really like, so that sucks even more. The Dr. Jort Beauty Bomb BB Dezapore Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I thought this performed a lot like the Benefit Professional, but it doesn't stink. I think this cost a little bit more than Benefit, but if I, if I go through a few more primers, I will probably actually pick this up because I really freaking liked it. And like I said, it doesn't reek like the Benefit one does. I can't do those heavily perfumed smells in my makeup because it gets right by my nose and it gives me a headache. Ugh, I know I'm complaining, I can't help it. Let me just gather up the rest of these paper samples so I can go through them real quick. Derma E anti recall glycol Vitamin A Glycolic Cleanser, felt nice. Smelled a little bit like grandma, which I don't mind because it literally smelled like my grandma, which was kind of cool, but I can't tell any anti recoil usage from one packet. I have a Derma E Soothing Cleanser. This was nice. Nice and gentle. Soothing. Makes sense. I have another. Oh, I have two of these actually. I have a little Rippy packet and I have the Rippy packet and I have actually a little miniature. Uh, the Ole Hendrickson Sheer Transformation Oil Free Perfecting Cream. I use this at night. It felt nice, but I didn't think it was anything special, so I would not purchase. I have this um, MD Solar Sciences Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I did not like this. It felt really heavy on my face, so I would not purchase that. I have another one of these Wish deodorant swipes that I wind up with every once in a while. I need to buy the box because these work fine as deodorant, but I want to see if they're really a hair inhibitor. I know they're like $22 and it makes me cringe, but I might do it anyway. And I have this Mario Badescu. It was a toner. 
I hate the fact that they put a toner in a Rippy packet because I had to like sit it up for like four nights in a row because it gave me like eight uses. This only gave me like two though. These were both green. They kind of freaked me out. And I know seaweed, cucumber, I should have expected it, but I didn't. They freaked me out a little bit. They both worked fine, but they were nothing special. So I would not go out of my way to purchase them. And the green color freaked me out. I have a Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. It was in one of these little rip open and squeeze. Huh, there was still more in there. Packets. This was really nice and moisturizing. It didn't lather too much, but for moisturizing, I wasn't terribly surprised. I have a couple of things over here. Let's see. I have the Aveen Eau Thermal Cleanance Gel from Ipsy. This was a this is a soapless cleanser. I don't quite know how they pull that off, but they do. It was nice. And apparently it's for oily skin, but I didn't see anything special about it, so I would probably not purchase. I have two of the Avino Protect and Hydrate um, sunscreens. I actually really like these, and if I ever run out of sunscreen, which considering how many minis and full sizes I have, I would probably not, I would probably purchase this because I think it's really nice and it smells really good. I, have a full I finally finished this. These things take forever because they are 16 ounces. It's a clean and clear, charged, pomegranate and orange zest morning burst body wash. I do really like these, but I can only find them at Big Lots now. And like I said, they, I end up getting aggravated with them in the end because they take... These literally takes like four to five months for me to finish because I don't share my body wash with anybody, so I'm the only one chugging away at it, and this is huge. Like, I can... It's literally most of the size of my arm. It's like two-thirds of my arm. It's a honker. I swear I'm almost finished. I have a Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatment. I use one on each eye. I use one for both eyes. So I get two uses out of these little thingies. I do really like it, but check your TJ Maxx because that's where I found mine for 20 bucks. Like I have the whole pack. I have a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. Even this wasn't that heavy for me to use. I would like to try the regular gel formula though because I really like gel moisturizers. This I did not finish, it dried up on me. It is the LA Colors Nail Polish Remover Pads. They do smell like strawberry like they claim to, but it takes like a ton of them to use to remove all my nail polish. That's what's left of them. And they're really thin so they sometimes tear off on me if I get too overzealous with them. But you know, for a dollar they're not bad. I have a Frizz, John Frieda Frizz E straight, straight Fixation Smoothing Cream. Uh, this works fine. Nothing special. I have other stuff that I like better, so I would probably not purchase. Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive Peel Thingy. I don't think this did anything. I had to use like a fourth of the bottle to make it to feel like it was doing anything. And it was really liquidy, which I did not like. Two more and then I'm done, I promise. I have this Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Water. I think it works just the same as the simple cleansing water. So, well, I would not spend a ton of money on this. I did enjoy it, having the sample of it. I bought that on Instagram, by the way. Like somebody was selling those from Birchbox and I bought it for like a dollar. Let's see it. And finally, I have the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I didn't even like it enough to cut it open, and that's kind of a rare thing because these are usually expensive, but I got this as a sample perk from Sephora. Like one of their enter in a code and we send you this crap. I don't think this did anything special. Like I could feel it working on my face and it was fine, but it didn't clear up. It, didn't, it just didn't feel like it did anything special. <laughs> And even though I love the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer, I haven't had much luck with their other products. And I've tried a couple of different random things. So that's it. These are always longer than 20 minutes, which means I have to edit them together because my camera only shoots 20 minutes at a time. But thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to clean up and probably go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.